On the season finale of Inside Al Athletics, we take a look at one athlete's post-graduation plans. We catch up with a women's lacrosse player who has excelled on and off the field, and we'll have all the latest Al Athletics action. I'm Justin Mahan, and this is Inside Al Athletics. Baseball team welcomed rival Plymouth State to the Al Athletic Complex, but that's not what the Panthers felt after Monday's game. Scoreless in the top of the third with two runners on, Connor Walsh delivers a clutch single to left field, giving the Owls the lead. Runners on second and third, and Christian Bourget lifts the sacrifice fly to left, bringing the Owls up 8-3. Ryan Richard was the Panthers' last chance to tie things up, but he flies out to Devon Springfield, closing out the game 8-4. It was a close matchup for the softball team Tuesday, taking on UMass Boston. First and third situation for Julie Elwell, who beats out the infield single to third base, bringing in Molly St. Germain to score in the first inning. Beacon's threatening with a runner on third, but St. Germain gets Tori Tisenzo to ground out to second base to close out the fourth inning. Top of the seventh, Beacon's down to their last chance, and St. Germain shuts down Kiara Prusmack for her eighth punch out of the game, defeating the Beacon's 1-0. We switch now to a story about a Keene State athlete that is breaking records after recovering from Tommy John surgery. Melissa Wydra is a thrower for the women's track and field team, and just about a year and a half ago, she tore her UCL and underwent reconstructive surgery in her throwing arm. Last week, she set a new Keene State record for the hammer throw. Wydra threw the hammer 43.46 meters, crushing the 15-year record of 42.52 meters held by Christine Leggett. Wydra says this is her proudest moment as an athlete. After coming off an injury, um, I definitely didn't think I would ever be able to do something like that. Um, hammer's not my main event normally. I'm a javelin thrower, so it was uh, it was just amazing. I kind of looked at my coach when I heard the mark. I know we were just like completely like um, flabbergasted, and it was just great. Wyder's record-setting throw qualifies her for the New England Division Three Championships on May 4th and 5th. <laughs> Transferring from one school to another is difficult for most students, but for athletes, going from a Division I program to Division III adds to the struggles. Inside Al Athletics, Tyler DeRosa reports how one Keene State athlete has turned that transition into success on the field. Junior lacrosse sensation Chelsea Lewis transferred to Keene State last year. Although it was a culture shock, she felt welcome right away. I loved it from the second that I came here. Coming in from a Division I program, her teammates had high hopes for Lewis and she didn't disappoint. You expect somebody that's coming from D1 to do really well, and so she had high expectations to, when she came in, and I don't think she has even skipped a beat. As Lewis adjusted to the team, she found herself primarily setting up plays. Coming into this season, Coach Clark knew improvements could be made. Lewis immediately began perfecting her offensive game, along with becoming a leader on and off the field. I think this year we've kind of found our sweet spot with putting her in to kind of finish a play. And I'm thinking a little bit more about the lacrosse part of it instead of just playing. I'm trying to be smarter with my decisions and what I do. Although she has exceeded expectations, Coach Clark wants her to keep up the momentum. And that's what Lewis does each time she takes the field. I just want her to, yeah, still find a challenge in everything and try to just get better every day and not be satisfied with uh, a, any kind of stat that she might get. As the seniors graduate, that leaves questions about leadership, but senior captain Taylor Farland knows that the team will be in good hands with Chelsea next season. I think having Chelsea as a leader is going to be very helpful, and it's definitely going to help push them to do great things next season. For Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Tyler DeRosa. The men's lacrosse team picked up an LEC honor. Junior defender Charles Malloy was tabbed as Defensive Player of the Week. Malloy tallied five cause turnovers and eight ground balls as the Owls extended their winning streak to five consecutive games. Up next, Emma Hamilton has our interview of the week. Graduation is just around the corner and Casey's graduating athletes are looking forward to what comes next. In the studio with us today is men's across midfielder Paul Beeling, who will receive a diploma next week and a degree in elementary education. He'll be teaching math to third and fourth graders at a summer program this summer. Thanks for being here today, Paul. No problem. Happy to be here. Now, tell me, how did you decide to be an elementary education major? Um, I had a lot of experience as like a summer camp counselor, okay. and I've always enjoyed working with kids, and I just kind of had like a, I feel like I just had like a natural talent for it, and I figured it would kind of be a good thing to fit that mold. 
So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, can you tell me a little bit about this summer program that you're teaching out this summer? Um, it's actually at my little brother's old school. It's a special school for uh, kids with reading and writing disabilities. Oh, it's wow. called the Carroll School in Lincoln, Massachusetts. And the summer program is kind of for kids around the area who like need a little extra help, mm -hmm. like usually in reading and math. So I'll be teaching math to uh, third and fourth graders. I'll be more of like a teacher's assistant, but it'll still definitely be like a good experience for sure. What kind of emotions are you feeling going into this? Uh, definitely mixed emotions. I mean, with graduation, all, like also, it's like wow, like this is pretty, uh, this is real. But I'm excited. I think that's probably the most, the, the biggest emotion I have is probably excitement. I would say. How soon after graduation are you going to start? Uh, it starts mid June, so oh, I have wow. a little bit of time, but to enjoy myself. But I definitely it'll definitely come quick I think so <laughs> now once the summer's over uh, what other career goals do you have in mind um, I think just with education I'll have to get a master's degree at some point but I, I also want to just land a good job and maybe I know a lot of uh, schools offer master's programs mm -hmm. they'll offer to pay for a little bit of it so that would be ideal so like work and then get my degree as I work that's great that so, sounds like a great plan yeah. <laughs> um, so let me take you to the field you have almost as many goals as you had in the last two years combined. What happened there? Um, I mean, uh, that happens a lot with lacrosse. Like, you'll, you'll graduate a lot of kids that, mm -hmm. I know we, we graduated a lot of really good players last year, mm -hmm. um, and you kind of just have to step up when you're a senior, mm -hmm. and I guess it's just kind of, it's been a good season for me, so. And I, that's also uh, credit to my teammates, too. We've had a really good, it's been a good team year for sure. That must be really exciting for yeah, you guys. Definitely. And uh, the team just wrapped up a fifth straight regular season LEC championship. Uh, what goals does the team have for the rest of the season? Um, you, every year we look to win the LEC playoffs and get that LEC uh, like playoff championship. And then going into the NCAA tournament, it'll be a challenge, but we always want to we want to go as far as we can in the NCAA tournament. So. Those are our biggest team goals for sure. Great. And um, how do you think being on the lacrosse team has really added to your experience uh, here at Keene? Um, I would just say it's been like the relationships I've made with the, like the alumni and the kids on the team now. I would just say it's been like a really good bonding experience. So that's probably the biggest thing I've taken out of it. That's been the best part for sure. That's great. Well, Paul, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. And good luck after graduation. I can't believe it's next week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seriously. Thank and, you. And um, thank you so much for coming in today. Of course. Thanks. <laughs> We've got a lot of action heading into finals week, starting with the softball team. They head to Westfield State for a doubleheader this afternoon at 2 p.m. And baseball is also in action today. They face Framingham State for a 3.30 start. And men's lacrosse take to their home turf as well, facing the University of Southern Maine at 5. Bidding off our busy Saturday is the Women's Track and Field LEC Championship meet. Baseball faces number 23, University of Southern Maine, for a doubleheader beginning at noon. And the women's lacrosse team also faced the Huskies starting at 1 p.m. Softball team competes in a doubleheader on the road at Eastern Connecticut with the opening pitch at 3. And just a reminder that weather plays a huge role in spring sports schedules. Head to KeenOwls.com for all updated schedules. Again, that's KeenOwls.com. And that's it for this season of Inside Owl Athletics. The program will return in the fall, but with a new host as I graduate this semester. I've greatly enjoyed being a part of this program and to have played a role in keeping you up on KSC Sports. For everyone here at Inside Owl Athletics, I'd like to congratulate all of Keene State's graduating athletes, and we wish you the best of luck in your post-Owl life. Signing off for now, I'm Justin Mahan.